Yo, what is going on, guys? Got a video here today from Alpha Central. Let's get into it. I'm tired of these girls looking so good on Instagram, but in real life looking up. Show, show them how you look. Show them. Look up. Stop catfishing everybody. It's serious. This is absolutely insane, guys. Like, people think that this is a joke. But so many modern women put on such a large amount of makeup. They put filters over the top. They do absolutely everything. And then you see them and they look like a completely different person. And these are the same women, by the way, that will complain if you lie, about, lie to them in any capacity. Like if you're a dude and you lie about how much money you make, women will treat it like it's the end of the world. Yet we have so many women running around right now who look like completely different humans. And it's supposedly totally fine. Seriously, getting out of hand how well these women are able to catfish men these days. Ideally, my husband needs to be making like. It's to be making like. Okay, my suspicion is she's gonna say 175. 250. 250? Like 650,000. <laughs> I was being <laughs> The second she said needs to be making was the second she revealed her red flags. Yeah, none of these women actually know what money is, guys. I, I swear to you, right? This woman sitting here saying that her husband needs to be making X amount of money. I don't know why Arbor and Preach were shocked when she said 650K. Honestly, I was expecting her to say a mil or more. Women who have this attitude don't even understand how hard it is to earn money like they have no appreciation for the dollar whatsoever that you know everything's been given to them by their parents or no man has ever told them no in their entire life and they think that money just falls out of the sky and that when men go working we just pull you know money out of a magical hole in the wall you see what i'm saying but man so delusional so damn delusional 650k for a woman with this attitude a year oh hell no absolutely not man Flags. <laughs> Let me see this is that. Oh, thanks. It's me. It's me. Nice. Yeah, nice. I do. You do what, drugs? Shirley just put him in the ultimate trap, buying herself an engagement ring. Is it too late to have a family? The older women get, it's uh, harder to have kids because there's more complications because you're harder to be around, so it's difficult. <laughs> Hey guys, that's for you! Come on! I mean, at some point, it's a bit too late to have children. Just can't take it. You were talking. Guys, let's be honest about this, okay? Like, this is a joke, but there is a lot of truth to this. You'll have a lot of older women be like, why don't men want to be with me? Like, I'm invisible to men now. Why can't I get attention? Why don't men ask me out on dates? There's a whole bunch of reasons for this, but Obviously, they can't have kids if they're past a certain age. A lot of girls think that they can have kids into their 40s. I don't know where these people are getting this information. They're probably learning it from TikTok, I think, from these quote-unquote dating coaches for women. That's one of the reasons. But this guy's not even wrong, okay? The thing is, as a lot of these women become older, particularly if they're single, they just get very bitter and hard to be around. They're not very nice people. Um, I've heard women try to say, oh, we just get more wise with age. No, you, you get more annoying, you get more bitter, you start arguments over things. Guys just really don't want the headache. If you want to run a man away, um, particularly a man with self-respect, you just have to start giving him headaches and he'll ditch you. Right? The men just don't want to tolerate this. Can't take it. We were talking for probably nine months before we started dating because he is so f slow. I wasn't taking the hints, man. I just didn't believe you. I still don't believe you. Why the f like me? It's about to be our six month anniversary. Classic. Another woman who doesn't know how to give a man the hint. Before we move on to the next video, guys, if you don't know who these people are, okay, this dude is Chris Tren is what he's known by on the internet, okay? He's one of the trend twins. He's a very large fitness influencer. This guy recently made like a supplement uh, brand, okay? This guy has a huge amount of status. He's essentially famous. Um, he makes a bucket load of money. The guy is absolutely jacked. I mean, he's competed in uh, competitive bodybuilding as far as I understand. And this is his girlfriend, right? Now, I don't mean this as a huge roast, okay? 
but I don't understand why dudes who are this successful, who have this much money, who are this jacked, who are this famous, choose women like this because I, I literally checked this before I recorded today's video, guys. Like if you go to this woman's Instagram, she's barely wearing any clothes a lot of the time. I mean, like her second post on there is her in a bikini, right? And it's like, I don't understand why these successful dudes get with women who just post their bodies all over the internet. Now, guys, I understand in saying that, that this guy, he's a bodybuilder. He does the exact same thing. I understand that. But as far as I understand it, men tend to care way more about this sort of stuff than women do. Um, not to say that women don't necessarily care about their man posting like their muscles all over the internet, for example. But it just amazes me when dudes don't care. Because I, I know on a deep level for most men, it would bother men to have a girlfriend who's posting questionable photos of themselves all over the internet. Girls, it's kind of like it doesn't bother them as, as much, but it will bother some women. But I don't understand why these guys who have so much choice will get with women like this in particular. That's not to say that she's not a nice person. I personally just don't understand it. Queen, what's up, brother? Uh, the you have robbed the girl, basically. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've got him robbed. We don't want to ask you. I'm giving my opinion. I'm giving my opinion. I'm giving my opinion. No, no, no. Who in this fucking family is a single mother? Who in this table is a single mom? Me. You? And I said I would. And this is the only girl. This is the only girl that that chooses because she knows what it is to be. All right, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Chris. I ain't Please gonna don't lie. Guess. Um, here, 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 I have no idea what's going on here, uh, but this woman is very damn annoying. There are certain types of types of women on these channels that, like, you put them on the panel, and every time they talk, it's just it just feels like they're yelling at you. You know, maybe she is yelling. I, I can't really tell there, but these women are insanely annoying to me, man. I, you, could, you couldn't pay me money to sit on these, uh, these shows here. No disrespect to the hosts or anything that make these shows, but I just don't have the tolerance for the women. I find them so incredibly annoying. I'm saying that no one's going to want you. We're just saying. I'm not even laughing. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. <laughs> Plenty of people will want you. I think one of the women here is trying to convince the single mother that don't worry, men will still want you. And this woman got offended because they played violin music over her uh, speech about the single mother, so she just gets up and leaves. That's great. She really just talked way out of line and tried to argue it. I would want my listeners to understand that sensitivity is not the highest value in an intellectual community, but truth is, and sometimes it can only be gotten to by saying things that some people don't want to hear. The truth hurts, but everyone has to face it sometime or another. So you want, it's like, it just sounds like just men always just want virgins that have hadn't had from anyone and are really good girls. That's it. That's it. And it's like you want younger women as well, so it's like that whole predator vibe. Well, it's not. No, it is. That, but that's realistically, like, say it how it is. You want younger women that you can manipulate yep. just to mold to your lifestyle. Because that's how it sounds. Okay. Like you want women that you're... What if I said women are stupid, can't make money, short and weak because they want a guy that makes more money than them, taller than them, more confident, ambitious, etc. That would be ludicrous, wouldn't it? Because I'm demonizing what you want. But we don't do that with women, do we? We don't shame female preferences. When a woman says, I want a man that's tall, makes money, etc., you go, girl. You deserve it. That's your preferences. If I say, I want a girl that's not a hoe, that has some temperance, beautiful, young, etc. Oh, that's toxic and masculine, etc. Like, we demonize male preferences, but we don't demonize female preferences. Shirley wants to talk about men fitting their own needs when it comes to women, but has no idea how picky all women are. What were you saying? Isn't it interesting, guys, that whenever a man has any form of standard, what we do is we have to shame him, right? Because... What a real man is, is always something that's self-serving towards the woman. Oh, you're not a real man if you like women who do this, or you're a predator if you like women who are younger. And guys, I always say, right, I, I always think it's the older women who make comments like this, particularly the age ones, because they're no longer getting as much attention, right? That same woman that's complaining when she's 30 years of age that dudes are predators because they're dating 22-year-olds, right? The same woman that makes that comment 
was probably dating older dudes when she was 22. But she just has an issue with it now because she's no longer the one getting attention. I, I don't see very many younger women complaining that men like younger women because they're the ones getting the attention, right? Yeah. Oh, I said, I think that the dryer has been shrinking my clothes because everything just feels tight. The dryer or the refrigerator? This cat has nine lives, and he just wasted them all in one sentence. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one through ten? A ten. Do you think other people agree with that? I don't care what other people think. Confidence is key, period. Hey, bro, what would you rate this girl on a scale of one through ten? What the fuck? I look like a fuck. Is it, man? Confidence is key when you have something to make you confident. Your eyes are <laughs> beautiful. I'm no, not with this TikTok. <laughs> He's not with that TikTok. No, over there. Hell. You're a four out of ten. Let no, go. No, no, I don't want to kiss. No. Get away from me. Bro, I'm scared. She's for the streets. She's a she's a four. <laughs> <laughs> he made it very obvious that he wasn't interested, but she kept on begging. Oh, you're very Didn't she also go to hit him at the end of this as well? Guys, again, right? This seems like, you know, a pretty innocuous joke and all that kind of stuff. But I want you to imagine if the gender roles were reversed here. Look, she kicks him there, and then she chases him, and then she swings at him. Can you imagine if dudes did this? Right? If the dude made a video like this, and he swung at a woman, and then he chased a woman down the street, and, like, he was bothering her with the, I don't know, the video, right? People would be complaining about this. Even if the dude was being, I guess you could say, rude, like he didn't need to say the crap that he did, even though it's probably true. Um, like you still don't go swinging at people because they don't want to answer your questions. Okay? But guys, I'm telling you, if, if a dude did this, oh, he'd be in some very hot water. Interested, but she kept on begging. Oh, you're very beautiful. No, no, no. What? Indian. Because I'm Indian, you know what is don't touch my car, maybe? <laughs> This is not your car. Get out of here. Bye-bye. The second she found out it was his car, she changed her mind. I think that was that seemed like a fake video to me. Um, but it's well known, guys, that women will switch up if they view that you are a successful dude. The behavior that you're going to get from women is going to be very different depending on whether or not you're a successful person as a man. Right? If you've got if you're a dude with a lot of money. It's kind of like that saying, okay, if you approach a woman and you're ugly, it's going to be considered assault. But if you're an attractive man, then it's confident, right? And she likes you. That's the difference. It's kind of like a similar thing with money. Um, dudes who are successful have a lot easier of a time with women. Dudes who don't have a lot of money are typically treated more like dirt, to be honest. Mine is half. My name on his chain. And you've got your hole on the screens of millions of random desperate men. Dang. That's tough. Her name might be on his hat and chain, but it's also all over the world. Yeah. No. I mean, I was gonna say no, but why are you saying? Oh, this one's definitely gonna get me in trouble, but there is an obvious double standard. If she can have reasons to say no, but when he has a reason to say no, there's something wrong with him. In the comment section of videos like this, make it pretty clear that women support other women getting upset at their man saying no. What's crazy is that it's not because she feels let down, rejected, or disconnected. It's because she wanted to say no first. She wanted to be in the position of rejecting before being rejected. That is not love. What happened to the no means no phrase? Doesn't this apply to both sides? I have not been if it, I'm, I'm skipping this clip. I don't even care what that is. I'm not looking at that. Um, yeah, if a dude says no to things, guys, in a lot of situations in society, men are simply not allowed to say no without being shamed, right? You're going to get called names, you're going to be insulted, people are going to have issues with you if you say no. Even if it's the exact same situation where if a woman says no, everybody claps and applauds her on the back and calls her a victim, right? And then says that she did a great job. If a woman goes out there and she goes to some dude's house and then she decides, oh, actually, I don't want to hook up with this guy and she says, no, thank you. It's, you know, that's totally fine, obviously. Um, but if a dude does that, then he's like weird or he likes dudes or he, he was just really rude to the woman. The standards are very different, right? What men and women are allowed to say without being ridiculed in society are very different. Wait. You gotta go, man. She's in against secure, bro. Your job is to make her secure again. Do you even have a girlfriend? 
Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. Why? What you trying to do? You're giving everybody advice and it's advice. Why not? It's advice. You got a man? No. So shut the up. What are you talking about? Seems like some good advice to me. Must be a salty audience member. Does size matter in a guy? Yes, it does. Matter. Okay, so we're gonna measure your waist right quick. Thirty inch waist? I don't know what that means. It means you're too big to say that size matters. Rose just pointing out the double standard. She wants to say size matters goes both ways. No, 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 no. Listen. Nobody. I know. Small. I know you're excited, but really, people just just wants to say hi and then read the winner. I could just pull someone up from the audience and have them dance with okay, me. Oh you know my what? God, Jonah, get up here. Look. Let's dance. Let's dance. This made me uncomfortable even watching through my screen. Bark for me like a good boy and I'll let you kiss my Hey, yep. I'm definitely not barking. Why not? You want to be honest? Just bark. Why? I don't think you're all that, so we need to bark. Get the f out. Get, get the f out. She was salty that she wasn't worth the bark. These girls that make these uh, TikTok videos where they go up interviewing dudes and try and get them to do weird stuff on camera has to be one of the most cringe form of content uh, that I think I've come across, right? The girls are just trying to make awkward situations and then make the dude look like a loser. Okay, I don't think, you know, any dude who actually does this stuff really needs to take a hard look in the mirror. Um, I swear to you guys, so many dudes from these videos, right? So many dudes now, if a woman walks up to you with a camera, there's no way that I'd want to engage with that. I think a lot of guys, if they see a woman with a camera and they're trying to have some sort of interview or they're trying to talk to you about something, you already know that half the time they're just going to try and make fun of you. So what's the point of even being there in the first place? Also, the women oftentimes have like an OF account or they're just completely annoying to be around. Get the f*** out. Get, get the f*** out. She was salty that she wasn't worth the bark. Would you rather be stuck in a desert for 60 days with nothing but a dog or be stuck in that same desert with a woman? You let me know. Probably the easiest question I've ever heard. Am I your type? Nah. I'm not your type? Nah. So you wouldn't pound me? Nah. Not even like right here, like in public, like you just wouldn't? Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. You're not my type. So, like, you wouldn't even pound me, like, right here, like... I give you doubt. Took her that long just to get rejected? She was begging by the end. These are the videos that I'm talking about. There are so many of these now, where women will go up to dudes with a microphone and then just ask them the most stupid questions of all time. Like, can you imagine being this woman's future boyfriend or your, her, Lord forbid, future husband? Why on earth would you marry a woman like this? But, you know, you get with a woman, she's your girlfriend, and then you come across these videos that she's made in the past going up to dudes asking to be pounded. Like, holy hell, you would just ditch the woman immediately. I wonder if these women realize that they make themselves completely undateable to men who have self-respect. They probably don't. They probably don't care because they think that they have an unlimited amount of options and that men are always supposed to like them no matter what. Um, but any dude who has any self-respect is not going to want to be with a woman like this. By the end. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. You know, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know, isn't anybody looking at the stats? I mean, what's it like? One out of two marriages goes right down the... People, if you were going skydiving and they told you half the parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, f that, I'm not going. I don't like those odds. I get a 50% chance of splatting on the ground. I'm not doing it, right? But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. They're just like, is this the line to lose half my Awesome. 
is gonna be great. I can't wait to lose my car, my money. Oh, look, the line's moving. One step closer to my own personal hell. They are too afraid to open themselves up to the truth, but always pay the price. So then why aren't men protected from emotional abuse the same way women are protected from physical abuse? That is a very good question. Let's hear their answer. Because men are idiots. Really? Oh, okay. Let's hear more. Oh, emotional is worse? No. <laughs> emotional is worse than physical. It is. Okay, considering that statement, what could be the next possible logical question? So then if emotional is worse than physical, yes, so wouldn't men, men deserve protection more than women? They would. They should. Agreed. Men should absolutely be afforded the same levels of protection that women are when it comes to forms of abuse. But let's hear someone's opinion in regards to why men are not getting those levels of protection. But they're not smart enough to fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Really? Sadly, that is not an uncommon thought process when it comes to this particular subject. And it is unfortunate that this is being perpetuated. Unfortunately, a lot of men have been shamed into thinking that they would be considered weak if they seek help. That is not the case. Remember, no person deserves to be abused, whether it's emotional or physical. Please seek help if you need it. Let's talk about this for a second, okay? Because here's the thing about this situation. Even if men do try and go get help from somewhere, nobody really cares, right? This is why the word emotional use is kind of laughed about is because it's it's not really like if you're a dude and you go to someone and you say like that you've gone through this particular situation and see she was emotionally abusive towards you nobody's going to give a damn right because you're a dude this is what this is what happens men have to suck it up and they have to continue living their life doing whatever it is that they're doing all right and oftentimes when men do go and get help nobody listens Right? Nobody views it as a problem. Nobody cares. And so men just kind of pick themselves up and they move along. So that's reason number one there. Reason number two, a lot of the times when men get mistreated severely, um, a lot of times it's because they don't even understand that it's happening to them. They think that it's normal. They haven't had a lot of girlfriends. They have no relationship experience really to speak of. So dudes are going to put up with this kind of behavior even when they shouldn't because they don't even recognize it, right? They'll be in a relationship with a woman. They'll be in a marriage with a woman. They'll be getting tre treated like complete and utter crap and they'll think it's normal. And then if they ever try and talk about it, then nobody really cares, okay? This is a really sad reality of a lot of these particular situations. Really insane. Chivalry got by the feminist movement on the magazines that got women going crazy because women got too much advice about men from other women. <laughs> and they don't know what the they're talking about. <laughs> and it's true. I see the in the, ma in the magazines. I don't read them, but I be seeing the cover. I look at, I be in the grocery store, fellas, you look at one of the magazines, like, what is this? And they say on the cover, a hundred ways to please your man by some lady. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Come on. There ain't no hundred ways. That list is four things long. Just <laughs> play with his balls and then fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much. And Women get all their advice from other women, proving that chivalry is dead. You had one. You already knew it was nonsense as soon as you heard how long the list was. Guys, this is no joke. Every time I say it on this channel, okay, men aren't out here with laundry lists worth of requirements or things that we need to be happy. Guys, really, have you guys seen those memes that have been floating around of what a man's living quarters, for example, would look like? Um, if he didn't have a girlfriend or if he didn't have a wife and it's just a lawn chair in front of a television there's a bench press in there with some like steak <laughs> you know what i'm saying like there is not men don't require all of these different things to be happy maybe a cool car right <laughs> like uh, guys uh, we're not out here trying to make our lives as complicated as possible. I think that life is already complicated enough, guys. People go through enough struggles as it is, trying to get by day to day oftentimes. Dudes just don't want the headache with, to, to be with a whole bunch of nonsense, right? They just don't want it. 
So when this magazine comes along and says, here are a hundred different ways to make dudes happy, du dudes will hear this and they'll be like, what do you mean a hundred different ways? Who the hell needs a hundred different ways to feel okay? That's nonsense. But let's continue. Instead. If you had one day with me, what would you do? I would do nothing to your <laughs> Look at you. What did I do? Look at yourself. Come on. What is it? What did I do? Get a job and then you can start talking. How much you have to earn to have a real career? You definitely don't make a livable wage. 500000 a month is a livable? It's just like, I don't respect girls. So you don't respect a lot of women? Yeah. Notice how she cut that. She cut... He said, I don't respect the girls. And then he was probably going to go on and say, who posts their bodies online for money or something to that effect. And then she cut it out. Like, listen to how she cut this. It's just like, I don't respect girls. So you don't respect a lot of women? Yeah, I can tell by looking at a woman whether or not she's wifey material. And you are clearly not. Oh, but I'm, I'm married. That's awful. I feel are bad you single? for your husband. Are you single? I'm single as a mingle. We all know why he's single. What a great dude, holding his ground and not falling for these silly games. Yeah, so apparently the man is single because he doesn't respect women who sell their bodies for money. I mean, yeah. This is always the way, guys. If you're a dude and you have a standard that women don't like, then you're just going to be insulted. That's just the way it is, right? We're all totally fine with women having requirements on how much money a man earns, how tall he is, how attractive he is, how much he takes her out on dates. I mean, the list goes on and on, right? All the crap that she'll want. And all of that is totally fine. But if you're a guy and you say, hey, listen, I don't want to marry a night worker because I don't respect them, then it's like, oh, well, you're, you're an eye cell. Obviously, you don't get women. And it's not that these dudes can't get women. That's, that's the funny part. I mean, I've heard married dudes be called eye cells before. I have to kind of adjust the word there. But I've heard married dudes be insulted in the same way. I'm like, these dudes are married. What, what, what do you mean? You know, you can't get a woman. I mean, the, the guy has a ring on his finger, for example. Okay, but anytime they don't like the standard, they will just insult you and try to say that you can't get women. It's not that these men can't get women. It's just that they don't want you. Not that hard to understand. And then she runs off after saying this as well, which is hilarious because she knows she's lost. So she runs off. Okay. I just think that even if someone wants to get into it's like, it's not the end of the world. Like I enjoy my job. Why should I care about their opinion? Well, it's not actually a matter of you caring yeah, about their yeah. opinion. You were asking what is justification? Justification would be a grounding for belief, meaning something you would appeal to. In this case, you're just appealing to you. You say, because I want to do it, it's good. Because I want it, it's good. That's it. That's your whole appeal. It's appealing to you for you, right? Brian, that's all that matters. As long as you're happy, right. healthy, and you have loving people around you, that's all that matters. Why is your happiness the only thing that matters? Like, for instance, if you're a mother of a child, I could see where getting up at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning to feed the child could make you unhappy. Okay, but that's your baby. You're a mother. Yeah, that's right. So I guess you have higher duties than just your own happiness, don't you? <laughs> just because she enjoys being on OF doesn't mean it's justified. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is disgusting. So this woman is a night worker up here, and she's trying to justify her job by saying, well, as long as it makes me happy, then it's totally fine. And guys, let's not get it twisted, okay? I don't really care what these girls do. If they want to go out there and they want to do these awful things to themselves for money, I mean, hey, it's not my decision to make. If they're stupid enough to do it, they're more than welcome to do it. I'm not here trying to tell people how to live their lives, okay? But when you start to try and get things like a boyfriend or you start to try and get, I don't know, a husband and you struggle, don't complain. And this is all I see these women do, man. They only think about themselves. It's all about what they want to do, what makes them happy, what makes them fulfilled. And if you're the guy, then you have to come secondary to all of that, right? You have to de just deal with everything because you're the man and the best priority in life is her own happiness and they wonder why dudes don't want to marry them but let's wrap up today's episode and go through the last couple of clips here where would you rank yourself on the marketplace eight out of what 100 <laughs> man guys i wasn't the biggest fan of kevin samuels back in the day i i personally didn't like his content that was just me um 
but you can't deny the dude is sometimes absolutely hilarious. Eight out of a hundred roasted. Okay, what is it? What are we rating from one to a ten? Yeah. Okay, nine. Okay, have a good day. A nine. He was so shocked by her answer, he had to cut the cameras. What is cognitive dissonance? Like a mental... Close enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Be fully aware of what's happening. Perfect. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to pop me in because I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> Damn. Go ahead. Well, there we go. Clearly, they don't know the answer. I mean, for me, I would have left with the food. No man left behind style. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So guys, shout out to Alpha Central for putting together today's video. Just wanted to talk about this last clip here for a moment, okay? So this is a woman who is hiding her phone and the dude just dumps her and gets up and leaves. Now, assuming that this is not a skit, guys, Women who hide their phones, it is very, very concerning. If if you're dating a girl, you're, you're like married to a woman or something like this, and she's hiding her mobile device from you. If you're married to a woman and she's like hiding her mobile device for, from you, this is absolutely huge uh, cause for concern. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. Remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.